Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I just did this everyday makeup look. I don't wear this makeup look every day, but on the days that I want to look presentable and natural, just still glam, I just do this makeup look. If you guys want to learn how I get this makeup look, just keep on watching. So I just took a shower and I still need to moisturize, so I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to use the... Tatcha water cream. Just make sure my skin's moisturized before the makeup. Next, I'm going to be using my Too Faced Hangover Primer. Probably one of the best primers I've ever used. My face is now ready for makeup. My favorite of all time is the it Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. I've been using this for over a year. This is like my second bottle I got. Like that's how much I like it. I'm just gonna squirt a pump onto my hand and just dot it all over my face. What I like about it is that it's a pump so that way it's not hard to get product out if you're in a rush. I'm gonna be taking my beauty blender and just blending it out. I hope you guys like this set out. I'm filming in my sister's room because she has like five windows in here so the natural light is like amazing my room has one window and it's not as big as her room so i don't know if it would be a good place to film but we'll see now that my foundation is blended out i'm going to go in with concealer so for concealer i've been loving this maybelline uh fit me concealer and it's one of the best concealers and it's drugstore so I really love this I mainly just do like three lines under my eye so I just take the same beauty blender and I blend that up too Okay, next I'm going to be using this Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder, and I think it's in Translucent. Translucent, yes. So, I'm going to be taking that. I have a napkin because this gets like everywhere and I don't want to spill it on my sister's bed. So, I'm going to take the same beauty blender and grab a little bit, and I'm just going to pat that underneath my eyes. After I set those areas, I take a big fluffy brush. This is by Real Techniques, and it's the powder brush. And I'm going to grab the tiniest bit of powder, just a little bit, and I'm going to set my cheeks and the rest of my face. Alright, so next I'm going to use bronzer. I'm going to be using this Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Bronzer in Bronze 3. So I grab a little bit of this and then just bronze up my face. There's like a mirror right here so I'm like looking in it to make sure I don't look insane. And now for nose contour, so I'm going to be using this Morphe R34 brush, but I'm going to be taking that same bronzer and just drawing two lines to contour my nose.
I grab a little bit more bronzer and then I pinch the brush and I just go in right there and then I blend it out. This just makes it look like you have like a cute button nose so I love doing that. And I make sure I really blend it out because I don't like there to be like really harsh lines. And then I'll also take that same bronzer and use it as an eyeshadow. So for this, I put it everywhere. I put it in my crease and on my lids. Okay, now our nose contour is looking a bit rough so I'm just going to be taking my beauty blender that has like excess powder on it and I'm just going to be stepping over my nose so it'll diffuse the color a little bit and not make it look so harsh. Next is brows and my favorite brow product is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in medium brown. So I just take the spoolie side and I brush my eyebrows up and then I'm just going to fill them in. To set my brows, I'm going to be using this little tiny Benefit Gimme Brow. And it says 3, so I'm assuming that's the shade. Because it does have a, the tiniest bit of tint. What's next? Blush. I love blush. I never used to wear it. I just started wearing it this year. I'm going to be taking this Tarte blush in the shade Party. I'm going to be using this brush. It's just a big fluffy brush. It has no name. Just any blush brush will do. I'm going to be taking that and I'm going to smile and just apply it. I'm going to highlight my face and before I do that I am going to spray it with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist so that way my face is dewy for the highlighter to go on so I'm going to be using the Morphe M501 and the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighters in Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal I'm just going to be going right on my cheeks and I'm going to be using my finger and highlighting my cupid's bow and my nose next I'm going to be taking the same highlighter I use any tiny brush and I dip into that highlight shade and I go right into my inner corner. And I'm going to be using the same brush and applying it underneath my brow and connecting it to the highlight. My face is looking a little bit intense, which is why I go back in with this Real Techniques um, powder brush. And with nothing on it, I'm just going to go over my whole face and just blend everything out so it's all connected together. Okay, are we onto mascara? Are we like done? I'm going to be using this Lancome. Uh, primer for my lashes so next I'm going to be taking the Lancome 
I don't know how to pronounce it, uh, Grandiose Extreme Mascara. Like, look at that difference. I love mascara. For my bottom lashes, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. The wand is super thin, so it makes my bottom lashes not look as clumpy. Next is lip liner. Finally, I'm going to be going in with the Morphe lip liner in the shade Foolish. And this is like one of my favorite lip liners. To moisturize my lips a little more, I'm going to be using the Glossier Balm.com. Alright guys, that is it for my makeup routine. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I had so much fun making it. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video and comment down below any video ideas or suggestions that you'd like to see on this channel. Thank you for watching. I'm so excited. I can't believe I did this. Is that it? I feel like there's more. Okay, that's it. Okay, bye.